Dear YouTube, I'm going to tell you a very crazy story, and it goes like this. I'm starting back in Agro. A few days ago, I had a really bad experience with um, the train because my iPod was stolen on the sleeper train when I was, um, you know, tired and I had a, a very restless 12-hour sleep and I was um, trying to take very good care of my stuff and I placed my iPod down and I was packing all my bags away and I lost my iPod. You know the story. Um, Agra was incredible. I visited so many things. I saw the Taj Mahal. I saw um, Agra Fort, Baby Taj. I saw different stone craftsman shifts. Um, people making carpets. I had a great lunch. Met an awesome Swedish couple. Spent the day with them. Then took another train to Delhi. I've had the opportunity to see the Ephicor team have a day of rest, which is my first day of rest since Rome. Spent the whole day in bed sleeping and the whole night sleeping after that. It was wonderful. Been bitten by numerous myriads of um, mosquitoes. And now I've made my way down to the Delhi airport to uh, now finally fly out to Vietnam. But the thing is, you see, I uh, overlooked a small detail which, mean, which says that I really need to have bought a Vietnamese visa prior to leaving New Zealand. So there was the, uh, the, op the prospect of having to go to China as opposed to Vietnam and Cambodia. So that was a bit um, nerve-wracking. And with a few quick calls to um, some contacts back home in New Zealand and with the help of Jay, who is the guy who's organising the Down Under World Challenge, um, and flight centre calls, we've been able to work out that I can stay an extra day in Delhi and uh, sort out my Vietnamese, Vietnamese visa and then um, come back to the airport and take another flight a, a, a day or two later, which is awesome. So I'm making this vlog to you outside the Delhi airport and I'm waiting until it's daylight so that I can then take a taxi down to the Vietnamese uh, embassy and from there I will go down to the guest house at Ephraim again and uh, I might have an opportunity or two to see some other awesome things around Delhi. But you see, here's the, here's the thing that takes a very strange twist in the tail. I've just pulled out my sleeping bag in which I was sleeping in on the train and I heard a clacking noise and I was like, what is that? And then this falls out of my sleeping bag. I've already filled out a police claim form and told everyone that I've lost my iPod. I was that convinced that I had my iPod in my hand and put it on the bed and I turned away to get my bags and I remember turning back and looking and searching and searching on the beds because I was certain that my iPod was on the bed. I, I don't know if it's a miracle. Anyway, my iPod is with me and I no longer need to take an insurance claim with Down Under Worldwide Insurance because this is expensive. It's a 64 gig iPod Touch and it's not something you want to lose in a while and it's like a small computer, essentially. Oh. Your head turns to custard after a while, but it's a whirlwind, it's all part of the challenge and I'm looking forward to the next two days in Delhi and then I'll have the opportunity to fly out to Vietnam and Cambodia and uh, do the crazy things that you guys have been voting for me to do online. Thank you. I'm going to have a, a four or five hour nap and wait for the sun to rise and start the day. Yay. 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 Happy vlog from Andy. Good night.